Hey guys, it's Alan, the Go High Level King. Today I'm going to teach you how to quickly create a pop-up inside Go High Level in 2024. So we're on the dashboard. All you're going to do is come over to Sites. You see Sites right here. Click on that. Now, you sh if you don't have a funnel built, you need to create a funnel or a website in that case. But in this case, we're just going to go and we'll click one of these, any of them, any funnel that you have or website. Click one of these and you're just going to inside a funnel. These are steps. So step one, step two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth. So let's click here and let's just edit in a new tab. I haven't even seen these funnels in a long time. So bear with me. You can do this for any funnel or website. This is how easy it is. So after it loads up, what you're going to do is come over here and you're going to hover over these buttons. CSS, background, pop-up settings. You'll see that right there. It's going to be a couple of different options. So right there it's saying on the top is a little blue button right here. Click pop-up uh, pop settings. Well, here it popped up here on the right. Do you see that? It popped up here. Uh, little changes they made here. So let's say here, go in our advanced and we can put a box shadow. So what kind of border we want? We could go full border, all these different types. Bottom border, solid. How big do you want the width? Let's do five. Let's do a uh, curve. The, curve you see how it curves there and all edges i could even make it a bigger curve right there you can enter using css if you want to change the color change that to red and let's go back to general so let's add a couple of things we have to add a row here and what kind of first we're going to start with the, well this is where i do it you can do a variety of things put a headline there small business uh, download whatever you have a good lead magnet of course download the small business guide free and then you're going to do scope plus here and what you're going to do usually is you're going to be looking for a form select the form that you want and i'm just going to say basic info name phone email there and just click well you have a variety of things here you can click save in this case <coughs> excuse me let's just click save just for the hell of it click save and there you just to confirm they're there still pop-up settings there and you're going to click save seal that's just the seo for the page but you really need to click the blue button which is publish to really get the things up and running now let's go back over to pop-up settings and i remember there was something so you're gonna there's a few other things here here actually uh, there's a couple of other different options in general. You could do run an image for the background or a video. Video has been really cool lately. So let's try doing something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I have any videos up here. In fact, I'll just do a new upload worker. So let's upload a file here. And I hope I have something here. Downloads, uh, small businesses. So you see how the, the video is a background now. <clears throat> So let's go there and the video options to fit. Let's put fill. All right. And background video opacity. I like, let's do half fade. Oh, that doesn't sound. Let's do a light fade. All right. A disable pop up. If you want to disable it, if you want to close the pop up on clicking outside. So if the user clicks outside of the box right here, then it'll, it'll, it'll automatically close. Now, <clears throat> do you want the width to be full page, medium, small? It goes full page. And I'll go ahead and do full page for that. And so this is important here. It's defaulted on. So show pop up on the exit. <clears throat> so when a user, uh, let's close this. And I just want to click, I just want to click save. So when a user, when this is actually live, it clicks here, tries to click here, close the window, it's going to open up that pop-up window. So let's try it out. It's published. So let's give it a try. So here we are. And as you can as you can see, uh, as soon as I try to exit, I put the mouse here, the pop-up popped up here. The video is in the background, basic form, e full name, email, phone. This is a new, you have to agree to this. So this is automatically put on any forms. I do have the web chat integrated into there. Now it does look a little bit big, but that's your disclosure. If you want to make the pop-up a little bit smaller, you can. Let me zoom out a little bit here because remember we went, see how I exited out of there. So let's refresh that again. Let's take a look at that real quick. See, everything's fine here. But when I go to exit out of the page, boink, pops up. 
and that's a good idea i think with the video it's very well done just make sure you get a video that that loads very quickly so you need to make sure you download a video that that has a, a, a high compression like a small video that can loop less than 200 meg or something anyways this is how you create a pop-up and go high level and i hope you learned a couple of things if you did hit the thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thank you